And a very good evening, everybody. Gresh Jones did an outstanding job as the head coach of the Coyote Wrestling Team. They won a WDA regular season title with Mighty Bismarck. They also beat them in a duel. And in his three seasons here, he was voted the WDA Coach of the Year twice and also the North Dakota Wrestling Coach of the Year. And now the Sydney native headed to the college ranks. He's been named the new head coach at the University of Jamestown. Yeah, you know, I mean, ever since I was a high school kid, being a college coach was my dream. And when the opportunity came, me and my wife talked about it and made a lot of tough decisions, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity. And it's a great school with a great area and community, and we're ready to get there. All right, moving into NCAA Division II, that's a very tough league. That means going up against the University of Mary and Minot State. I mean, that's going to be a challenge. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're always looking for the challenge. Like, I, I love this stuff. Any, the better competition, the better, right? And it's a good selling point to kids, too. Kids like to see that, and they like to go, hey, I'm wrestling in the NCAA tournament. It's a great selling point, and we got, it's a private school, so there's a lot of perks, and it's a beautiful campus, so I'm excited. What do you love about coaching? Everything, everything. Building the relationships with the kids is probably the best thing, though. I mean, there's something about seeing them have that aha moment and just being excited. And when they get those little wins and stuff, it's, it's a good time. Now it's a different ball game with recruiting because as someone who has a nephew at the University of Harvard, baseball coach, every kid kind of thinks they're better than what they are. So it's it kind of like dating. Oh, yeah. I mean, recruiting, that's probably one of the things I'm most excited about with this job is just to be able to talk to those kids, call them, and reach out to their head coaches, pick their brains a little bit because, like you said, you want the kids who aren't just the great athletes but kids who are good kids want to stay around the program, help out with the program, and end up maybe staying along with you after. So. And try to get as many North Dakota kids as you can. That's the plan, yeah. I mean, hoping to come here and recruit a little bit, you know. Stay in North Dakota, get those Montana ties and the Minnesota ties, and just keep keep pulling them in. So if you get those kids from Sydney, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm calling Melbs right away, so I can't wait. <laughs> All right, we wish him the very best. The kids loved wrestling for him. They told me he's one of us. They had fun in their wrestling room, and they won. We wish him the very best with those jimmies. All right, Lady Tetons in eastern Montana. Glen Dive, they fell to the Lady Bucks, 25-20, 25-23, and 25-17. Those twins were trying to make it two in a row over the lowly Angels tonight at Target Field. They try to make the playoffs next month. Let's see what happened tonight. Top of the first, Taylor Ward is going to home her off. Zebby Matthews, one zip. He did not make it out of the third inning. Bottom of the frame now. This kid has really picked it up. We said on Monday a rookie's got to do it. He's doing it. Another big home run for Matt Walner. It's a 1-1 game in the fourth now. The All-Star Willie Castro had a baby with a base hit. Run is going to score. It's going to make it a 2-2 game. In the seventh, a great sight. Royce Lewis is going to blast one. Initially, they called it a grand slam, then changed it. So three run score. That's going to make it six to three. They go on to win six to four and take two out of three. Thank goodness they are off tomorrow. Then they welcome Cincinnati to town. So, so far, so good as they try to dig their way out of some tough, tough times. And after falling to the defending state champs, Legacy last night at home, 2-1. to one. Coyote soccer team home tomorrow, 7 p.m. against Century. They own a 6-3 to three win over the Pats in the capital city. Swimming goes to Minot. Tennis goes to Jamestown. And with that, we take a timeout on First News at 10.